In this video, we are going to have a look at how to find when the password of an Entra ID user was last changed. So if this topic is of any interest to you, please consider subscribing to the channel. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions around the topic that's been discussed in this video or if you have a topic that you have in mind which you would like me to cover. Now, there are always instances where in which the user calls the help desk and says that the password doesn't work. I mean, they change the password, it is not working or something to do with the password of the end user and you always want to verify the story that you get from the end user by actually going into the portal and somehow verifying that the password was last changed on the date that they say it was maybe they are trying a password that they changed a couple of times before and now they have a new password or something was changed by a different technician so you just want to get the story story straight so in order to find when the last password uh, change was made for a particular user what we need to do is we go into the Entra ID portal, so entra.microsoft.com, as we have up in the screen. On the left-hand side, within the identity section, we go into users and we click on all users. So if you have thousands of users, then maybe it's worth searching the user account over here and trying to find out more information regarding the user in question. In our case, we are trying to find out the password change date and time of, uh, of our first user, so channel being on the screen. So in order to find that particular piece of information, we need to click on the account within the Entra ID portal, which brings up the information regarding that particular user. And we go into the third tab, which says properties over here in the middle pane. So click on that one. And the information that is of interest for us is highlighted. Last password change date time. So this information gives us the time and date when the last password change was made to this particular user account. So according to this, it's sometime today at 11.32 a.m., which is correct. So that is one way of finding out as to when the password was last set. There is another way by which we can change the view over here in the middle pane itself and see as to when the password was last changed in, in a quick glance. For that to happen, what we need to do is we need to go into the manage view in the, in the middle menu that we have over here in the middle pane. Click on that one and say edit columns. So click on that one. And instead of having usage location, or you can either add a column and then figure out as to what you want to have. I mean, account enable is a good enough information that you would like to have in the middle pane in, in one shot. So let's keep that one. Uh, we could change the usage location to something else, uh, maybe something that is of interest for us. And the one that we need is the last password change date time. Uh, we could keep on adding the columns, uh, depending upon what is of interest to us. There are quite a few other attributes that might be of interest to you. Um, to have it as a default view for all the users that you have within the Entra ID portal. Um, for me, this one seems to be good enough. So let's just check, uncheck the object ID. So let's just delete that. So user principal name, the type of the user, um, on-premise synced enabled or not. So whether it is being synchronized from on-premise ID or whether it is a pure Entra ID user. The last password change, whether the account is enabled. So that's a good enough uh, view for me. So let's save by clicking on the save button. So now here we have the information. So for example, for channel being last password change date time. So the one over here clearly says 30th of April, 11.32 AM. And it shows the same information for other users as well. Now we have also added the account enabled option, um, the status option. So whether this particular account is enabled or not. So it says yes. So all the accounts that we have within the tenant are currently enabled. And this is a, a quick glance to see as to when the last password change was made and whether the account is enabled or not by using the Entra ID portal. Now, this doesn't always work um, if you want to export this particular piece of information. So let's say that you have, uh, say, 2,000 users in your organization. I just want to export this particular piece of information that you see within this particular view, including the last password change date time. So you would think, okay, let's just download the user information. Um, which gives you a CSV file. You could say, you know, start the download, it prepares the file, and you can download the file, which gives you all the information. I do have that file already downloaded, so let's just have a look at it. So this is the information that I have in my tenant. So let's just get all the columns. Let's just expand it. So we have the user principal name, display name, surname, mail, given name, ID, user type, all good in pieces of information. Whether the account is enabled, so that's there. Usage location is GB, United Kingdom, state, country. We don't have the last password change set information. We have the created daytime, 
so when the actual user account was created but we don't have the piece of information that we are looking for so this isn't going to work so let's just close out of it so if you want to have this piece of information for all the users in your organization let's say you have a thousand set of users or a thousand two thousand whatever so you know having this particular view may not be uh, good enough for you maybe you want to have an export of all this piece of information and then kind of sort it out by when the pa last password was changed and you want to find out users who have been changed the password in the last i don't know three months six months whatever the case may be so whatever the user scenario is how can we have this piece of information exported out to a csv file so we don't have any straightforward method over here within the portal unless you know we we just glance through all the information that we need what we could do is we could use Microsoft Draft and, and query the endpoint and bring that information back to us. So what we need to do is let's hit on PowerShell IC so that I can take it one by one. So I have the commands over here. So the first one is install module, name is Microsoft Graph.users, scope is the current user. So what we are trying to install is we are trying to install the graph module. It's already been installed on my machine, but let's just execute the command just to show that it has been purely installed. Normally, if you are installing it for the first time, you will get the prompt to say that you want to agree to download the PowerShell module and that it is coming from an untrusted repository. It has a few components that it needs and you just have to click on yes so that it downloads everything for you and installs the module and set up the environment for you to run the rest of the script. So we have the module installed on our machine. Next one is we are connecting to the Microsoft Graph endpoint and unlike other commands within um, the PowerShell that you're used to, maybe say connect Azure AD, uh, which has been depreciated, we need to specify scopes in, in the graph world. So here we are trying to read all the user information um, as part of this particular connection. So the scope is you are reading all the user information in your organization. So here, let's just select that one and let's just execute. It will prompt for a username and a password. And if you have an MFA configured, it will ask for the MFA to be satisfied as well. I just have done this before. So it has the information cached and, it, and it's already using the session that I already have. So in your case, you will have to enter the username and the password. And if you have MFA, that needs to be satisfied as well. So we have connected to Microsoft Graph using the scope of user read all. Now, here we are defining what all properties that you want to have um, as part of this particular script. So what all attributes do you want to extract from the Microsoft uh, endpoint, Microsoft Graph? So here I'm, I'm just declaring a variable, say prop, say for example, for properties, it could be anything. And I just say I want to have a display name, I want user principal name and the last password change date time. So this is what we are after exactly. But we also want to have the display name and the user principal name to tie in the whole piece of information that we extract. So it's an array. So with these three values, you could add in other values. So if you want to have account enabled, as, as we have shown here in the, in the screen, if you want to have this piece of information, you could add along. So you can just take this one, account information, and then you know tag it along over here. So let's just say comma and do that. And if you want to have more and more piece of information, you could add those one in. So here I'm defining a prop. So it's been defined. It is storing four pieces of information now. Now the user ID that we want is Chandler, in my case, Chandler at cloudific.training. So that's the user that we are after. In your case, you may want to change it. So in the next line, line number 13, we are using get MG user, which is get Microsoft graph user. We are specifying the user ID as dollar user ID, which is the information in this line, line number 11. And we are trying to bring the properties from dollar prop, which is line number six. And we are storing this piece of information in a variable called dollar result. So let's just execute that one. Now dollar result holds the information regarding Chandler Bing's display name, user principal name, last password, date, change time, and uh, whether the account is enabled or not. Now, in order to see that one, we execute line number 16 in which it spits the information out into the screen. So the display name, user principal name, uh, last password, change, date time, which is the 30th of uh, April, which is today, 3.32, and account enabled is uh, true. So 
Now, if you want to have the same information exported out into a CSV file, we could just execute line number 22, which is dollar result, and you know, select the properties that we have and export it into a CSV file by using the pipe information, pipe uh, parameter. So let's just do that. So that piece of information has gone out. Now, if you want to have the same piece of information for all the users that you have within the tenant, what we need is get MG user all. So instead of saying get MG user and user ID, in line number 19, we are saying get MG user, Microsoft Graph user. I want all the users. I want the properties which is being described in the variable dollar prop, and I want that dollar prop to be output. So when we select that one, and we just execute that, so there it is. So we have six user accounts in this particular tenant and gives you all the display name, the UPNs, the last password, change date time, and whether the account is enabled or not. And you could export out the information by using, again, if you want to have this piece of information being exported out, you could just pipe the information and say export CSV in line number 19 and say, okay, where you want that file to be exported, let's say test.csv. And let's just execute that. That's been executed. Let's just uh, try and open it up in, say, notepad, test.csv. Let me just bring it up into the screen. So we have the same information in the screen as well. So this, uh, this line is the header, display name, UPN, last password change, date time, and the account enabled. And these are the six accounts that we have with the right information. So this is how we can get the information by using Microsoft Graph for all the user accounts or one specific account. So I'll put all these commands in the description for so that it is easy for you to construct a proper script. I mean, this is uh, by no means an efficient way of scripting. So this is just to show the various commandlets that you need in order to get the information. You can refine it the way you see fit and get more uh, fields that you want, more attribute information or less depending upon what exactly you want to have and export it out for all the accounts that you have within your organization. So if this information has been of any help to you, please consider subscribing to the channel. Check out my other videos within the channel. I upload videos around Microsoft 365, Azure, uh, Windows, PowerShell, Intune, and general IT stuff on a daily basis. So it might be worth um, checking out the channel from time to time or subscribing to the channel. Thank you.